Hey everybody, welcome back to Three of Corn Bourbon. I'm a little under the weather, so I hope you stick with me. Got another bite size of bourbon review for you today. We're gonna cover another barrel proof bourbon, just because I like them. This is a new one for me. Wild Turkey Rare Breed. I really like Wild Turkey 101. I'm excited to get into their barrel proof. I've never had a sip of Wild Turkey I didn't like. It's Wild Turkey, it's a barrel proof, it's Jimmy Russell. That's their master distiller. I mean, what's not to like? Now, they weren't always known as Wild Turkey. Founded in 1861, the distillery was originally called Rippy Distillery. And Rippy didn't come up with the name Wild Turkey. It was actually suggested in 1940 by a traveling salesman who thought Wild Turkey better exemplified the cool flavor profile of the distillery. And so for over 75 years, Wild Turkey's been making bourbon on Wild Turkey Hill in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. And Wild Turkey claims to use this unique limestone filtration process that's supposed to add some sweetness to the bourbon. But I feel like every distillery has some unique limestone filtration process. I don't know, I mean, I think that's kind of all marketing. A lot of distilleries are in Kentucky. Kentucky has limestone. Everyone has this limestone water. I don't know, maybe it's something, but I don't think so. So now the bourbon itself, Rare Breed, it's known to be a blend of six, eight, and 12 year old bourbons, all of them barrel proof. Barrel proof, also known as cask strength, it just means the bourbon isn't diluted with any water when it's transferred from the barrel to the bottle. We've covered barrel proof and cask strength bourbons on the channel before, and as you know with these barrel proof bourbons they always have a little bit of discrepancy between the proof points. And that's to be expected, every barrel's a little different. And all the barrels are different in the same year, let alone different years. So then if this is barrel proof, if this is cask strength, non-diluted, it seems a little odd that the proof point is so consistent. I mean, it's always at 116.8, which suggests there's probably some sort of dilution just to maintain consistency. So is it really barrel proof or cask strength if it's watered down a little bit to maintain consistency? I don't know. It's just a label. I, it doesn't really matter. It's something to be aware of. First released in 1991, Rare Breed is one of Wild Turkey's most popular bourbons. And the only one that I'm aware of that is labeled barrel proof. Well, we covered the distillery, we covered the bourbon. Let's get into the tasting notes. Man, I gotta open this guy up. That's a new bottle. Let's see what we get on the nose. Wow. It's nice big rye spice, it's charred oak. You get the vanilla, you get the caramel, you get the honey. You get like orange zest, it's citrusy. But there's darker, sweeter fruits too, there's dates. And as you keep smelling it, I mean it becomes like a, like a red apple. There's plenty of oak, but it's not overpowering. There's black pepper, there's kind of a nutty roasted almond. I mean, lots of cinnamon has to be expected from a wild turkey product. And there's some cocoa. I mean, there's some, like, dark baker's chocolate. I mean, some of that classic wild turkey rye spice, that nice, deep oak char. I've heard people talk about getting a licorice from Rare Breed, but... I don't know, it might just be I'm a little under the weather, but I'm not picking any of that up. Alright, time to dive into this. Oh, wow. It's a big and flavorful barrel-proof whiskey, but the proof point isn't so high that it's punishing. It's this perfect blend of sweet and spicy. It's got that wild turkey rye spice, lots of caramel, kind of maple, maple syrupy. I mean, you get oranges, some citrus. Sweet pipe tobacco. It's got these warm, smoky flavors, but lots of vanilla, lots of cinnamon. It's charred oak. It's a lot of like ripe red apple. It's roasted sugar, it's smoke. I'm getting like, like red pepper flake. You get the best of both worlds here. You get the big flavors from a barrel proof whiskey, but the proof point doesn't burn your tongue. I'm not panting, waiting for my palate to wake up. Wow, that's really good. I mean, that's way better than it has any right to be. For how available it is and its low price point, if you like or like don't mind Wild Turkey 101, you're gonna love Rare Breed. Now the finish. Man, I'm getting a lot of salt. It is salted leather. It is salted caramel. Lots of delicious Wild Turkey rice spices lingering on the palate. 
Lots of sweet pipe tobacco flavors. Plenty of apple sticks around. Plenty of oak sticks around. A lot of good charred oak. Lots of good cinnamon and allspice. There's not a downside to this bourbon. I mean, I don't find it exceptionally complex, but it doesn't need to be. What you get for this price point and this availability is wild. I mean, this might be my new go-to mid-shelf bourbon. Why did none of you tell me how good Rare Breed is? The first sip is enjoyable and not punishing, and you also get some complexity from the barrel-proof nature of the bourbon, as well as the fact that it's blended from a 6, 8, and 12 year. It's a rye-friendly bourbon with barrel-proof, strong flavors, an accessible price point, and an accessible proof point. I recommend to anyone. Well, that's all I wanted to cover on today's Bite Size Bourbon Review. Opened up a new bottle of Wild Turkey Rare Breed and it did not disappoint. Delicious, affordable, accessible. I don't know what else you can ask for. I appreciate everybody showing me support. And remember, folks, bourbon, it's made for sharing. So open your bottles, make some memories, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.